I'm St. Chief Sean Allison. I'm CSSN Ward. I'm CSSN Avery. I'm CSSN Beckford. I'm Seaman Fraley, and you're watching Icon. And you're, you're watching, watching Icon. Icon. And I watch Icon. Hey Team Mike, welcome back to another edition of ICON. I'm your host, Petty Officer Bobby Baldock. As you can see, we have a new stage, we might as well have a new host. I bring the tall, dark, and handsome back to you. Today we have a fantastic show for you, with one of our newest members of the team, seeming Krista DaCosta. She's down on the streets asking you guys the tough questions. Krista, down to you. Thanks Petty Officer Baldock. Hi, I'm seeming Krista DaCosta, and today with me I have Seaman Ramos. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. So, you ready for some questions? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> All right, so, first question. What does Mother's Day mean to you? Mother's Day. Mother's Day is a celebration. For all the amazing things that she's done. You know, that gave us our values and what we stand for today. The ones that are up, up late at night, up early with the kids, getting puked on and kicked. Not only your mother, but to me, it's my best friend as well. And if you could say one thing to your mom right now, what would it be? Hey, girl, I miss you. Thank you for everything you've done for me, and I love you all. I can't wait to see her again. I'll be home as soon as I can get home. I miss your food. <laughs> Tell me about it. All right, sir. When is the Navy's birthday? October 13th, 1775. If you're facing the forward part of the ship, what is the right side called? The right side is called the starboard side. And who is the current Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy? That's um, Master Chief Giordano. What does GQ stand for? Isn't that the magazine for men? Just kidding. Uh, Standard Quarter. <laughs> All right, and that's it. Thank you so much, Simon Ramo. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, back to you, Bobby. Thank you, DaCosta. Shout out to Lieutenant Commander Bird, the flight deck officer, for helping us with that last piece. Also, I want to give a shout out to my mom. If you're watching, I love you. Up next, we have a fantastic piece about the hardworking sailors in VLA. Hopefully, we'll land some fans with this one. VLA is a work center comprised of EMs and ICs, and we work together to help the aircraft land. Without us, they wouldn't have visual landing aids. The landing aids we provide are separate. One, pilots, they help. They have the cameras. They view the entire flight deck and we can record how they land that way to help them next time and I floss which is the lens and it navigates it helps them navigate ILARTS is an entire surveillance system it's a integrated launch and recovery television system so we broadcast it on channel 14 and Every area of the flight deck is monitored by the cameras that it has. And one person sitting at the console controls all the cameras, but one person in the island camera controls the main one, which has a full view of the flight deck. The island camera is really cool. Like, it's like maybe like the best watch when planes are launching and recovering. The main goal of island camera is getting a recovery. So in getting a recovery, what you do, you follow it from the, the aft part of the ship and watch the hook to touch down. And then as the aircraft lands, that's what you get. You zoom in on the numbers and you make sure you got the number. And once you zoom out, you get the person, the uh, arresting gear person that is on deck and he's giving out signals for, to the aircraft to make sure they do the proper procedures to let go of the wire. Everyone has an important job, whether they think so or not, because <laughs> we also have um, Mobilis, which is for emergencies. 
And even if people aren't on watch, they're still back up. We still have to be ready because if we do have to rig mobilists to help them land, then everybody has to jump in all at once. It's really nice because sometimes as an EM, I might not see the full importance of being in Air Department, but being in VLA, it's kind of a big community and we all help each other and we get to meet pilots too, especially on the LSO platform. We, seeing them and having them tell us how much it helps, <laughs> it's really, really nice. All ray all day, man. <laughs> all ray all day. That's all I can think of. And that's not even a VLA thing, that's just a whole V2 thing. It's like aircraft launch recovery equipment. That's what we do in V2. Hello, thank you for joining me today. We're going to be learning about proper food portions, getting ready for the PRT and living a healthy lifestyle. We use seasick green to color in what your plate should look like while at chow. So we're going to start off with a nice big circle, just like that. Next, we're going to color in 40% of the plate, and that's what your vegetables should cover. So we're going to start a nice big wedge, just like that. We use nice big strokes to color in. And this should cover your carrots, your peas, celery, anything from the salad bar. Next, we're going to use deck edge black. We're going to color in how much of the meats you should have. It should be about 30%. There we go. Just like that. Nice big strokes. And that should be your chicken, your hamburger meats, and stuff like that. Next, we're going to use navy blue to color in your healthy fats. Those are like your pecans, your almonds, stuff like that. It should be perfect. Nice and big strokes. And last but not least, we need to color in carbs. We're going to be using clementine orange for that. Just right here. And just like that, this is what your plate should look like when you're eating a chow for a nice healthy diet. Vegetables, meats, healthy fats, and carbs. Have a good day. Hi, I'm MM3 Sipo from Engineering Department ADIV, and I want to give a shout out to my husband, my two sons, Aiden and Alex, and of course, ACNR Shop. Hey, how's everyone doing? Uh, my name is Seaman Santa Maria, and I just want to give a shout out to my wife. Hi, I'm MC3 Michaels. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to my, my family and friends back home. Uh, to my girlfriend Jesse, miss you guys, love you guys, and can't wait to see you. I am the great and powerful Lighthead. Now ask me your questions and be enlightened. Oh, great and powerful Lighthead, what are you doing to get ready for this upcoming PRT? Well, for this PRT, the great and powerful Lighthead is eating all of his vegetables. Fit Boss and I have worked out a plan to make my body even more rock solid. Oh, great and powerful Ikehead, would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? The great and powerful Ikehead would fight one horse-sized duck to conserve ammo, naturally. Next question. Oh, great and powerful Ikehead, why is it important to conserve water? Well, shipmate, it's important to conserve water so we can keep the ship's functions working. We wouldn't have to worry about it if we just took Navy showers like me. Next question. Oh, great and powerful Ikehead, do I report a ticket to my chain of command? Well, shipmate, the great and powerful Lighthead thinks that would be a perfect question for legal. So, Ellen One, do we have to tell the command if we get a ticket? Thank you, great and powerful Lighthead. The answer is yes. If the ticket requires a court appearance, you must notify your chain of command that you were charged, the charging authority, the date you were charged, and the offenses for which you were charged. Thank you, Ellen One. There will be no more questions today. Back to you in the studio, Petty Officer. Bobo. 
Thank you, great and powerful Ikehead. Have you ever wondered who washes the captain's underwear? I'll tell you one thing, it's not Captain Underpants. Let's see if we can air out some dirty laundry with this next piece. Uh, normal TAD billet time is about 120 days, roughly four months around there. We have people that come and bring us laundry, khaki laundry specifically, from uh, the O3 level uh, and above. I work alongside about four of the people that are also TAD to S3 for VIP laundry. We spread out the workload evenly among ourselves so that way nobody's feeling a little bit overwhelmed. We individually make sure to do our part. So we will wash them, dry them, you know, neatly put them in hangers. Uh, and it's just overall, it's a, cool, it's a cool thing to make friends from other departments. We make sure we, we're accountable for everything we do. So we make sure to handle every article of clothing responsibly and make sure everything is, is good to go. There's no missing pieces, none of that stuff. Mondays, man. Mondays are rough. They, uh, we take Chief's Laundry Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And so they don't, they don't get to process their laundry on Saturdays or Sundays. So Monday we get hit, we get hit pretty hard. So they'll bring down easily 300, 350 different uniforms that range from coveralls, um, jerseys, athletic jerseys, khaki pants, NWUs, and laundry bags over their personal laundry bags. I work in the VIP and head of department laundry. So I basically wash the commanding officer, the executive officer, uh, the command master chief, and any other head of departments that are on board. It's not really a difficult job. You wash it, dry it, fold it. I think in the span of a week I fold about 500 shirts, just probably a thousand pairs of underwears. I can't even tell you how many socks I've folded, but it's mainly the pressing. I've probably pressed, or I do press about like 200 coveralls a week, especially when we're underway. I think overall, even though like there's good days and bad days, um, based on you know the relationships that I've made with the other TV people down there, um, I say it's it's a pretty good overall like time being away from my parent division. I I take all pride in my job. I make sure everything goes right. Go laundry. You alright, shit, mate? Something on your mind? Hi, my name is Simon Simon from SA Supply. Just saying a shout out to my mom and my kids. Miss you guys a lot. Um, see you soon. Um, LS3 Smith. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom, my dad, my brothers. Hey, it's Lieutenant Warnock from uh, HSM 74. Just want to give a shout out to all of our maintenance personnel. You guys uh, work your hands off and uh, we really appreciate it. Thanks for your work. Thank you, sir. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the latest edition of Icon. Till next time, I'm your host, Petty Officer Bobby Baldock, and that's a wrap.